Hey guys, it's Metal Productions, and welcome to part 7 of Earthbound. Yeah, it's been a while. In the last episode, we took on the police force because they tried to assault us. And yeah, we kicked their butts, and also we got our first game over because of. My luck was really bad, but. Oh well. Yeah, in this episode, we're we'll heading towards the next town because, you know, we went to the hotel and uh, this special person was in our dream. It's like, hey, there's a person I've never met before. My name is Paula. And now we have to go find her. Which, we're going to move on. So, since we have defeated the Sanctuary boss, all these, uh, I'm assuming, uh, bugs, uh, what are they called? Black Antoids? Yeah, they're running away from us. So, anyways, if you go in here, this is quite interesting. Talk to this guy. I live in a front row, rent free in a mouse's house. The mice is known as the exit mice. They're very kind, and boy, are they fast. Really love these guys. Please take my son along. You may not look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Alright, so he's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. Oh, that's cruel. That's an exit mouse? Jeez. That is very cruel. I'm sorry. But oh well, let's just move on here. And oh crap! New enemy. When you're going down this area, you're going to see those mushrooms. Try to avoid those as much as possible. Okay? Okay, if it's still down there, I'll fight it. But if it's not, okay, it's not. Oh, uh, there's two of them. No, 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 no. I cannot face two of them. No. I simply cannot allow that. No! Okay, come on. Only one. One. Okay, I'm fine with one. Alright, so here we are. Here's a rambling evil mushroom. You're probably thinking, ah, oh, this thing doesn't look too difficult, and it really isn't. But if you don't take it out, guess what happens? Well, let's see if it does it to me. If it doesn't, I'll explain what happens. Okay, all it does is attack. Okay, guess it doesn't do it. But, the one thing they can do is they can spray spores on you. And it grows a mushroom on your head. And, uh, let's just say it messes up the controls. So if, like, if you're going down, you're go- Like, if you use the D-pad or the circle pad, not circle pad, uh, control stick. And if you're going, trying to move to the right, it can go up or down or the, any other direction. And then you get used to it, and then it'll change again, which is rather annoying, and you'll be able to get rid of the mushroom, which I could show if I get the spore, and you'll be able to get money off it. But let's see if this will happen to me here. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. We got our spores. Excellent. One thing that's bad about this, when you're in battle with a spore, It'll make you actually try to attack yourself. At first, you're probably thinking, oh, it's not that big of a deal. But, just make sure you get out of here as soon as possible because, oh boy! Woo! Okay, that was scary. Try to get rid of that. So now, it'll start kicking in and we'll be able to move in other directions. Or if it'll like to show that off, that'd be nice. Come on. Anytime now. I guess it just doesn't want to do that. Oh, there we go. So now it's made our directions great. Um. 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 It's. It's great. Uh, but make sure you visit the hospital. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay, let's go this way and then. Wait, nope. Up. There we go. Wait, no, this way. And now up, okay. Oh crap, it changed directions again. This is just a pleasure. Anyways, once you be able to get up into the Tucson hospital. Oh crap, no, I did not mean to <sighs> Okay. Go over to this guy over here. He was like, oh, you may not believe that. I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, my job to cure you. Hey, now I know just can sell me that girl a mushroom on the top of your head. And he gives us $50 for it. So if you want to grind and get a bunch of money, by all means do this. You can keep doing it over and over again, get a bunch of money, but it's very time consuming. I'm sure I spent at least a couple minutes trying to get here because I wasn't getting used to the controls. The first set I got were really bad, but after that it wasn't too bad. But yeah, since he took it off our head, now we can just walk normally. So, yeah, that was great. Okay, so let's explore. Oh, hey, look at that. 
we got to uh, this guy over here. All right, here we go. It's been a while. Pictures taken instantaneously by photographic genius, if I do to say so myself. All right, get ready for the instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, save multi pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondness to memories. All right. So if you go into the cycle shop, you'll be able to get a free bike. Uh, well, I don't want to get it. I mean, you can get it. But personally, I don't find that bike very useful. It's just a waste of space. I mean, it's not that much faster. And, yeah, it's just rather a pain. So, I'm just not going to bother with that. But anyways, let's go into the, the department store here. Because I want to get some certain items. So, yeah, let's go to the ATM here. And let's withdraw quite a bit of money here. And we have quite a bit of money. But, yes, yeah, so I'm going to take out 500. I know, that's quite a lot. But I'll show you why. So, if you go up here... Well, you could do your usual bakery, get some donuts for the people that assaulted us, or you could go and get some burgers, which could be very useful, but I'm not going to be going there. I'm going to go into the regular store and talk to, I think, this person right here. Uh, no, it's not what I wanted, but he has, they have one move thing here. It's a slingshot. I think I talked about that in an early up, earlier episode. Basically, it hits really hard, but it misses a lot. And it's not worth it. Anyways, you go to this lady, she'll give you a teddy bear. I recommend buying at least two of these. I mean, I have... Uh, I have two. And that fills my... Uh, my bag. Uh, right there. But that's okay. So uh, the reason why I got these teddy bears... Is because if you go into combat... Uh, basically this thing is like another target for your enemies, so there's a chance that these target and uh, these enemies will actually attack the teddy bear Which is actually quite useful. It has like a hundred HP on the teddy bear and if you go to a hotel and rest And it's a damaged teddy bear. It actually replenishes its health, which is actually quite useful But we're not gonna uh, do any battles for a little bit I'm starting a line here. I want to take it for today's show, but I may not get it if I had some connections, I could waltz right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. I love standing in Queen. I love words start the queue. Queen, quiet, quick. Okay, very good characterism right there. Here's this guy. We, that's right. We're the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater. We're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl who lives in the house in the preschool that's stuck in the town, I ought to see her someday. Okay, you're the celebs here. And... Basically, you can't see this person? Come on. You're, I mean, she wants to see you. I mean, really. Anyways, oh, oh this guy is pretty interesting. Alright, so I'm going to this guy. He actually will give you hints for what you need to do in the game. But for like 50 bucks. It's not really worth it if you know where you're going, but yeah, it's too expensive for nowadays. But yeah, if you get a hint later in the game, might as well go here. Alright, so let's keep exploring. Okay, it looks like we can't go through there. But let's go into this building. Looking for Venus's house, it's next door! Hey, how you doing? My daughter's left for a big city to become a superstar. She's using the stage name Vane. Oh, I mean like Vane or something. She's working hard. Okay. Let's go in here. And is there anything in here? Probably not. No, there isn't. But... Whatever. It's nice to explore the town. Alright. So let's see. What else is there? Oh, it looks like here's an enemy in this game. Uh, do I want to face it? Ah, why not? Let's do it. The unassuming local guy. Yes. There actually are going to be enemies in towns. Which is quite interesting. Let's see if he'll attack the teddy bear. In this case, he actually does attack the teddy bear. Which is actually very useful. I actually got to show that off. That was pretty nice. But well, there we go. We got 146 experience points. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's see. Talk to this guy over here. Virgo Park seems to be kind of dangerous. There's some great stuff here. Okay, let's go over to the preschool. I want to talk to you. Paul isn't here. She suddenly left and I don't know where she went. I'm nuts about the kid inventor, not the airheaded dweeby apple kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. 
That stupid slob. Oh, that's not very nice. The apple kid always eat. Ask me for something to eat. He's the inventor. He should invent some food for himself. Oh, that's a burn. And that's kind of sad. So let's go to the polyester building. Very nice sinister music. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Well, I want to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Whistle, whistle everywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She's a guardian angel, it seems. And we got a little fanboy right here. No, I'm kidding. He's not really a fanboy, but whatever. Paula is like a mother to me. I'm not able to comprehend my emotions. I might have the baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. Let's talk to the father. So you want to see Paula? Many people come here to see her miraculous powers, but powers, but they're just leeches. Are you from a TV station? Oh yeah! Please leave. My daughter doesn't want to talk to media monkeys like you. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So you want to see Paula? Many people come to see her miraculous powers, and yeah, we. No, that's not what I meant. To it. Hey, no, no, I'm not from the TV station. To meet you or not, you can only be decided by Paula. Paula has said that she would only meet a boy named Ness. So you're Ness, you're the one that's been in Paula's dreams. You'll save the world. Let me call God Paula. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, can you go come back later? What the heck? Okay, well. Paula's somewhere, but I think she said in her dream that she's hiding somewhere. But well not really hiding somewhere, she's stuck somewhere, but. We'll get back to that later. So anyways, there's a pizza place where you only could. Okay, actually, let's go in here. This is actually quite interesting. Welcome to the Mock Pizza. We don't sell pizza here, we only deliver. Let me give you our number. Okay, this is so dumb. Yeah, they don't, okay. They have a menu in here and they're, they're like, no, we don't We don't uh, make pizza here, we just deliver. What, do they have like a warehouse full of pizzas or something they try to sell? Uh, that's just disgusting, but whatever. It's probably factory made. Whoa, that was jerkish. This is one of my favorite enemies in the game. New Age Retro Hippie. Okay, the reason why I like this guy, well, because of his music theme right here. And yes, and I'm going to keep talking because I don't want anything to happen with copyright claims. So anyways, let's just go and bash this thing. The reason why that I like this thing is because it uses a toothbrush and its teeth were white and fresh. And it made the enemy scared. <laughs> Okay, he has a bunch of weird things like using a ruler on someone and stuff like that. I mean, there's a lot of funny things he can do. So if you want to check that guy out, please do. He, he's hilarious. There's a bunch of them here in Tucson. You just need to walk around and you'll see a bunch of them. But, yeah. So now let's see. Let's go into this building. Uh, looks like here's this guy right here. I have a lot of old broken junk. I hate to throw anything away. If you have a friend that's knowledgeable about me mechanics, he might fix something over you overnight. Man, a friend like that would be so handy. Yeah, that would be so handy. It would be so handy that just because he mentioned it. Oh, hey, what's this? I told you a thousand times. I won't join the happy, happy religious group. <laughs> if you push with me, I'll pelt you with peanuts. Wow, that's aggressive. But yeah, that'd be quite useful if we got someone that could be handy, that could fix broken stuff for us. That, that'd be pretty nice. But let's check out these houses right here. Let's go to the orange kid. Oh yeah, that guy's smoking, according to that, that one girl outside her house greetings. I'm the orange kid, the inventor of the head of me. I'm a bit of embarrassed about reputation. I've a lot of inventions and development, but I'm short, running short of cash. You know, I'm working on this machine. Well, that would really help you in peaceful rest value. What, so you're actually willing to help the finance the project? No! I guess I was just too hopeful. Well, never mind. The reason why you do not want to give that guy any money. He doesn't do anything for you. He just gives you a bunch of crap that does not work. So looks really does not determine if he's smart. According to those people. So let's go check out the Apple Kid. Well, I'm sorry I neglected doing my housework. I'm sorry it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm an apple kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I might be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Yeah, sure. Let's give him... Let's give him an exit mouse. Please, somebody choose something edible. I'm not a garbage can, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll give him our... It's alright, he can eat our exit mouse. It's perfectly fine. But yes, let's give him something to eat here. Let's give him, uh, well, I should have gave him that roll I just 
destroy, uh, just t tossed up. Oh, I really give a hamburger. Thanks. See, very nice. I wonder if would you like to invest in some money in my inventions? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. And that is why I took out $500 and had $200 in my wallet. Because you need $200 to invest into this guy. This guy will actually give you something useful. So, yes, later in the game, which not too much later, he'll give you something that will help you progress in the game. So, yeah, anyways, there's a broken machine in there, which we could, you know, save for a later time. I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. I took care of my master. In return, I want you to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. What is it? The receiver phone. Oh, it must be in your way. Zip. So anyways, as you can tell, animals can talk. Ness has the ability to talk to animals, which is quite interesting. But, yeah. Alright. That was quite interesting. I mean, we've explored everywhere but Berglund Park. Berglund Park seems to be kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff there. Alright. Now also Berglund Park is Edr e Everdred. He's got the ties to burglaries and kidnappings in this area. He's a scary guy. I don't want to talk to that guy then. He's only watched over Berglund Park and he hasn't bribed over... Uh, whatever. He can buy condiments. I wonder if they would be good. The right condiment makes the dish taste better and the wrong one makes it taste worse. Uh, get more power. Okay, good for you. Does it feel good to sit and look at my pots? I like pots. But really... What I want for a uh, tool shop is for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Hmm. Hello, we like to add some seasonings to your meals. Uh, no, I do not. No thanks, because you're not very useful. And there's Mr. T. Of course, amateur is not a good person, but he's actually kind of warm-headed for a crime boss. Oh, yeah. I sell fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Uh, no. And there's a reason why I'm not going to buy any eggs. And it'll be, there's, you're going to find one in a later time, so. Anyways, let's see, let's talk to this person. I like to sell my goodies on the street. Sure, flies slant on them, but they taste even better. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, no, get away from me. Okay, I own the uh, antique shop. It's only $98. Ah, uh, no. But it's actually quite interesting if you buy that for sale, son. I'm not going to spoil it, though. Hey, man, you got to expand your mind. Use this stuff for creativity. Come on, buy some of my junk. And he has a bunch of broken stuff, except... He has a copper bracelet. This is very useful. I mean, you'll be able to get one later. But if you have enough money, which I actually don't, by the way. But when you do, you'll be able to buy this copper bracelet. And if you buy it right now, it's going to make everything a ton easier. So, yeah. I may actually uh, do some uh, battling off screen in order to get money for that. So, yeah. We could buy some bananas from this old lady. But, no. We're not going to do that. Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? Thank you. It's too... Cl that's too... Cl what? Sure. So yes, it's short and to the point, but you don't have any more room. Get rid of something and come back. I'll be here. Alright, that guy was quite interesting. Uh, let's go over here. Hey, there's that guy on the roof. Wahaha, ha ha what do we chat at later after we locked horns? Oh, hey, it's Everdred. Alright, here we are. Here's Everdred. This boss battle, it's kind of interesting. He can attack you pretty hard, but he has some quite interesting moves. But she could steal something, which is not really that big of a deal. And he stole a hamburger, but I don't care. And he failed to steal something again. And he knitted his brow. That's quite something right there. But, yeah, whatever. And we smash! And we turn back to normal. Well, he does. And there we go. We got ourselves 986 experience points. Now we're level 10. Oh, baby, we're... Offense went up by three. Defense went up by two. Maximum HP went up by, by three. We realized the power of Shield Alpha. All right, sweet. I'm Everdred, the boss of Burglum Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost nothing, and I'll change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret place hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said they were going to make some Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They're definitely a hardcore strange. You know, she might have gone already. You better be hurry. If you say Paul, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Creeper. Okay. So I guess in the next episode, we are going to go towards Peaceful Rest Valley. Because we need to save Paula. Because she's our partner. And we, yeah, we need her. And we don't want her to die. Because we won't be able to save the world. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Chop people inbox. And see you guys next time for some more Bound.